Hi, welcome to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. In this video, it could be the final ever video I've done of these SV150 engines. These are horrible, horrible things. I'm gonna do my best in this video to answer probably the number one question I get here on YouTube is, how do I make this thing stop revving up and down? I get so many questions saying, I've done everything, I've serviced the carb, I've put a plug in, I've changed the fuel, absolutely everything, and this thing still revs up and down. Is there anything else I can check? So in this video, I'm gonna take perhaps one final look at an SV150, unless I find another cheap one, but um, and try and just eliminate a few things for you and help a few people out who are really struggling with these revving up and down. Um, so we're gonna get started in a minute. There is a playlist on SV150 engines in the top right hand corner of your screen now. I've got probably uh, about 30, 40 videos on them there, so hopefully they'll get you going if you're struggling with this type of lawnmower. But for now, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you one little tip that you might not know about this SV150 engine. I have to be honest and just say that <laughs> along with everybody else who posts in the comment section of this I'm absolutely sick of getting these and trying to repair them because there's a lot of times you can do these and they still won't run very well and I've done loads of videos on them now and I've covered nearly everything I can until I did one the other day and actually found a fault with this actual carburetor which I'm going to show you in a minute so if you're really struggling it's still revving up and down you've done everything let's take a look at this lawnmower behind me and let's see if I can just show you what it could possibly be if you've tried everything else so just a quick uh, recap if you like I've just I've sold basically everything apart from this lawnmower I've got someone coming to pick that up tonight um, and I'm getting a bit empty now I think I've sold five at the weekend and it's only you know the beginning of the year really there are a few lawnmowers going out now, but yeah, that one's uh, my own. This one's going out tonight, and this is the only other one I've got left. But what I want to show you here is uh, actually something on the carburetor that I've noticed quite a bit that I have to say I've never really thought was a, a problem before and something to look at. So I've actually written a full article on, on these SV150 um, engines, how to service them on the website. So if you take a look at repairlawnmowersforprofit.com, you'll actually see that there's a, a full article on how to service these carburetors and everything so it might just be worth your while looking on Repair Lawnmowers for Profit for that article but what I want to show on here I'll try and do this kind of uh, live as I'm, I'm out here holding the camera I'm just going to remove this recoil cover and I just want to show you one thing on the carburetor that you might not have actually checked and it's not something I've uh, previously shown on a video either so I'll just take this recoil cover off I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. I've just got to say as well that if you're just starting out repairing for profit, this is like the worst thing you could possibly buy. It's really bad. These, you know, either work or the kind of don't work. There's no really in between with these things. So I'm going to take that off. I'm not sure why I'm taking the air filter off. Really, but what I want to show you, well, I'll show you the uh, the carburetor setup while I'm here. So if you've got this this engine, if you're not sure what engine you've got, by the way, if you look under here, you will actually see this sticker here. And that will actually say, under here, it actually says SV150 somewhere. See there, just above my finger? It actually says SV150. It'll either be an RV or an SV150. And they all seem to have slightly different carburetor setups, as you can see here. But what I want to show you here is basically, just for anyone who's taken it apart, just the linkages, where everything goes and where all the springs go. So, if anyone's looking where the springs and linkages go on a, an SV150 petrol lawnmower engine, this could be a video that helps you out. So you can see here how everything springs about and all the springs are on and all the obvious linkages are there and everything. But this is the part I want to show you. You see this part here, this like triangular part. This actually has a spring underneath and it's a really fine spring. If you can just see here and what I've noticed on one I've just actually repaired is that this spring is often either broken or missing or not doing the function that it's supposed to do. Now this is here to govern up this spring here. It kind of acts as a governor to keep a, a balance between these springs and without this springing back you won't get an even rev with the lawnmower. It will still hunt up and down and I've not really realised this on too many of these mowers because normally it's something that just wants service in the carburetor or a head gasket's blown but I thought I'd just go around this and I'll just show you but underneath here I'm not sure if we can just see I'll try and film under here if you can just see under here I'll try and get in there just underneath here there's actually a spring under here 
sometimes it's broken and come off completely and sometimes it doesn't spring so if you've done absolutely everything and you're absolutely fed up and it still doesn't work right take the carburetor off and take a look at that spring now the problem I've got currently while I'm filming this video is I can't find anywhere that sells a, rep a replacement spring for, for this type of engine so it might just be a case you have to replace the whole carburetor but it may just be worth your time doing that before you part with your lawnmower because these aren't aren't too expensive to do. As I said there's a whole article on my website at Repair Lawnmowers for Profit of how to service an SV150 carburetor. In fact I'll link to that in the description of the video. So while I'm here what I'll do is I'll just discuss a few other things that you you know you might get you through because I get so many so many emails about this. This is it is actually without doubt the uh, the most asked question I get here on YouTube is I've got an SV15 it still doesn't run right what could it be well I'm going to cover a few of them points now starting really simple use an NGK spark plug don't use anything else make sure it's new obvious point out of the way um, your ignition coil is in here you need to make sure that you've got a, an even gap here set between the flywheel and the ignition coil if there's no gap there and it's not set correctly you won't get good spark and of course it won't run right. The other thing to check as well, you need to um, unzip this using an impact driver. You need to check the flywheel key at the top of this crankshaft because if it's got a notch in it at all, this won't start and run properly. So that's your ignition coil, your plug, and you need to check this keyword at the top of here. Obviously, you need to check everything's here that's supposed to be here if you've picked it up second hand and you might need to service this carburetor these are the basic things that people do but other things that go on here are the head gasket there's actually a head gasket situated in here runs right round and you'd have to remove the whole head which is here to replace the head gasket now from time to time I've picked these up and this has an inlet manifold you see this black pipe it runs all the way through and it runs right through to here this actually has a gasket on as well and I've actually seen these loose usually it's because somebody's kind of had a go themselves at fixing it but if you, if you have a leak in the inlet manifold here where the gasket or in the head here the cylinder head here this isn't going to run properly so other reasons it won't start they're the reasons it might not run properly but other reasons it won't start this choke in here is actually like I like to call it a butterfly choke in here it's silver when you put this lawnmower up here onto choke, no primer on these lawnmowers, when you put that to choke, this, this actually needs to be fully closed. You can see just there how that's actually fully closed. You can see in there that that's actually closed. That's what's choking the lawnmower. If that doesn't work right, you need to adjust this cable under here. You can see under, underneath here, there's actually a, a screw and you can alter that cable so it pulls further and it actually chokes properly so all you need to do is put it onto choke like I've just done there and move the cable back and make sure that this this valve actually closes all the way enough to choke the lawnmower to start it of course when it's running you need to make sure the cable's working and you need to make sure that this here is fully open as well so there's something to check as well if you've got a lawnmower that starts and runs for a minute and then dies um, it won't start again, it's a good chance that these cooling fins in here, see down here, this is all dirty because this is the only way it's got of regulating its temperature. So if this is all covered in grass and dirt, it'll overheat in no time whatsoever. So you need to make sure those cooling fins are clear as well. Now if you've got a lawnmower that doesn't start, you hear the micro switch, sometimes you have worn cables, and when you pull in this handle here, That micro switch won't click. If it doesn't activate this micro switch here, you won't get a spark and this lawnmower won't start. I've just had a comment on YouTube actually from someone who's looked at everything and the lawnmower just won't go at all. And the problem they had here was from this wire. This wire runs here right from this micro switch, which is a kill switch or micro switch. It runs right round to this ignition coil here. If there's a break in this wire, it won't let spark go to the ignition coil and the spark won't go from the coil to the plug. That's another reason your lawnmower won't start. Another thing to point out, I've seen this happen before, is this is a governor flap. See this plastic flap? This all works in conjunction with these governor springs. If this has got an obstruction in it or it snaps and doesn't move properly, this lawnmower will rev up and down. This is designed to balance, it kind of balances on the speed that it gets off this actual flywheel here when it's running and it sets itself a balance and that's what keeps an even speed when you're cutting through different thicknesses of grass as well. And for anyone who wants to kind of speed the idle speed up of the lawnmower, this is your idle screw. You can actually back this one out here or turn it up a bit 
and you can do whatever you want with that and that what that does is changes the uh, the actual angle of this here when it hits it it makes it run faster or slower you can uh, try that I think backing it out makes it run faster because this moves across further but you must make sure all these parts move about because these really are a pain and one thing I see a lot which really sounds obvious is these two cables here I've seen these tied together people cable tie them together there although I've kind of had, have one round the back of the other and if this one gets obstructed then you won't get the correct throttle and this, this choke won't open and if this one gets obstructed there's a good chance this micro switch won't operate as well one thing I don't like on these as well is although it doesn't have the uh, dead diaphragm and gasket set up it actually has this plastic tank on the back if you see one of these SV150s with the actual petrol tank built into the back of this starter recoil here there's a good chance it'll be split and it'll leak fuel this is the newer design they actually made the petrol tank separate and you'll really struggle to get the, uh, the old part where the petrol tank is built in with this starter recoil as well this doesn't have a fuel tap on so if you want to turn the fuel off to so take the carburetor off you've got to kind of clamp it off which is a bit of a pain whereas on the Honda ones here it's got a Honda out here you can actually turn this fuel tap off here that's turned on at the minute when it's horizontal it's on when it's vertical it's turned off so if you've got a lawnmower that's been sat a long time like a, an SV150 like this what you'll find is if you want to drain the fuel out of the carburetor just to put some fresh in you haven't got to take the, the actual whole thing off you can actually just undo this bolt here see this bolt on the front of the carburetor just to get you going in the summer if you want to get this old fuel out of here you could try backing this one off and draining the old fuel out obviously make sure there's not much left in the tank as well and that will get the old fuel out of this carburetor and you can re replenish this here this petrol tank and feed new fuel straight into the carburetor and that might just get you going another reason I don't like these is these recoils here these plastic parts on here are really prone to breaking I found no good way ever of fixing a, a starter recoil like that other than replacing the whole thing so be very aware if you if you're going to start repairing for profit I would avoid these as a starter so I'm actually just currently writing a guide on the uh, which lawnmowers to pick up to start to repair for profit and it's pretty obvious if you've watched the channel I'd always pick a, a Briggs & Stratton 35 Classic because um, if you change the diaphragm and gasket in one of those you can eliminate 90% of running problems so this isn't ideal to start with and this video is really just to help anyone out who's struggling with hunting and surging but you can see just how small these little springs are and how fine they are and if you try putting one on there that's really um, like a, a makeshift one that's too thick you find this just runs really really fast it just runs flat out basically obviously I'm giving this uh, this lawnmower a bit of hammer but another thing I don't like about this and hopefully I've sorted this out this oil thing here yeah he's still done it the whole thing tends to turn and you just want to take the top off to top the oil up I've actually done that I've actually tightened it up and then tried to do it so it, next time I go to it it doesn't do it yet still the whole thing turns and if you've got this starter recoil on you can't actually get in here to top the oil off without taking this starter recoil off so I've actually tried to uh, make sure that didn't happen a few weeks ago when I serviced this up a little bit and it still does so be very careful with these parts as well if you ever have to change the starter over if you snap one of these off good luck getting a part for that so as for hunting and surging issues usually it's the carburetor there's no valves on the front of these here they're just flat head engines you can see here whereas on this Honda here you have these overhead cams and they're designed to be adjusted this is what you pay for with a more expensive lawnmower you can adjust those when they wear and still get it to uh, start up really easy I mean, these Honda lawnmowers start up so 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 well and actually one of the criteria for the lady who's purchased this she contacted me on Facebook saying you know is it easy to start because I'm finding it difficult with the one I've got well I mean the brilliant the Honda ones pull over better than any other lawnmower Just such good quality and I really do recommend these Honda Izzy lawnmowers so if you've checked everything else you might just want to check out these gaskets in here and this inlet manifold and the head gasket as well and particularly this little spring it actually goes round and round on a shaft here and runs around the back and you want to make sure if you take the carburetor off that this is actually doing what it's supposed to do and it does actually spring so I'd like to say that might be the last video I film on these SV150s because I am really sick of doing these now they can be a real pain but if I see one for 15-20 pounds in my local area I'll be uh, 
tough not to go and pick that up really so <laughs> I can't say it'll be the last one but don't forget to check out the playlist on these SV150 engines I have a full article on how to service the car better and this engine on repair lawnmowersforprofit.com so you'll be doing me a massive favour if you take a look at the website as well thanks for watching I've just hit 7,000 subscribers today so I'm, I'm well pleased about that I can only thank you for doing that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the like or bell button and whatever everybody's doing on YouTube these days when you're watching this video but I really appreciate you watching any questions about these lawnmowers post in the comments section I'll do my absolute best to get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching and I'll see you next time